Hello friends, my name is Muhammad Arshad and in our last video we learned how we can create uh, an application in Oracle Apex and in today lecture we will see how we can uh, create or add uh, schemas into our existing workspace so let's start open your browser and log in to your uh, application uh, localhost which is uh, address of my application and here we need to provide password then uh, here uh, we can see uh, going to SQL workshop object browser and here you can see we have only one schema in our uh, workspace but uh, or we can say in our application but sometimes uh, or we can say most of the time we are not playing with the uh, single schema we have multiple schemas and uh, we want to build our application based on multiple schemas so we need to add uh, other schemas in our existing workspace so let's see how we can add other schemas into our existing workspace or existing application so log out from uh, this developer uh, role and uh, log in with uh, your uh, internal space workspace and then username uh, admin and uh, uh, actually this is the username uh, which uh, was used uh, when uh, we were installing our apex application so uh, provide the password skm dollar sign one two three a and click on sign in so this is a most uh, privileged account uh, where you can uh, uh, manage your workspaces uh, uh, or we can say this is uh, administrator account uh, with which you can uh, manage different workspaces uh, you can manage requests or you can uh, monitor activities uh, performed on your uh, applications so here uh, we have a uh, menu which is manage workspaces and uh, sub menus are uh, you can create a new workspace uh, as we can uh, as we have seen uh, in our last uh, lectures where we have created a, a workspace that was a single workspace and uh, with which we log in but uh, as a administrator you can create uh, multiple workspaces uh, over here but when we log in with our developer account you don't have an option to create a new workspace so uh, there is also option to remove uh, existing workspaces if you want you can remove uh, by using uh, this menu then you can lock the workspace and then we have manage schema assignments uh, the, we will use uh, this option to add uh, schemas in our existing workspace and manage uh, developers and users you can uh, uh, here create accounts for your developers and end users if you uh, if you use uh, apex uh, authentication uh, and authorization uh, then you can this option otherwise you have a database uh, option for your uh, authentication and authorization then we have uh, many other options so go to uh, many schema assignments and this is uh, our uh, workspace uh, we had created for our uh, learning purpose so uh, here we have uh, option and schema so uh, uh, here we have two options uh, we want to add existing schema or we want to create a new one so I want to uh, create uh, add I want to add a schema which is already uh, existing so uh, click on next uh, then uh, uh, we have an option 
uh, in which workspace we want to add our uh, this uh, schema so select because I have only one workspace that's why it is showing only a single workspace but if you have multiple uh, workspaces you will see uh, multiple workspaces over here so click on code camp which is my uh, channel name uh, then click next and then uh, here we have a list of schemas you have uh, in your uh, database so uh, click on this and uh, here I want to add HR schema so we uh, and we will use this schema for our uh, development or learning purpose click next and uh, here uh, we have a summary uh, uh, name of the schema is HR which we are going to add in our workspace code can uh, add schema so here you can see a uh, uh, workspace is code camp and it has uh, two schemas uh, code camp and HR so uh, similarly uh, we are uh, going to add another schema which is already existing and my workspace is same uh, click next and then add schema uh, this one next and then add schemas and that's it now we have three schemas in our uh, workspace code camp so log out from uh, this uh, administrator account and return to sign in page now we will use our workspace code camp in which uh, we added uh, different uh, schemas username is commercial and password so uh, go to your SQL workshop object browser and here we have uh, for example HR and in HR we have countries departments employees jobs job history and different uh, tables so if I select G S M okay so this has uh, this schema has uh, no tables so uh, uh, that's it for today uh, we uh, see how we can create uh, or add existing uh, or new one schemas uh, into our workspaces so that's it thank you thank you so much